In Brainerd, there were a handful of letters of intent signed today. Sports reporter Anthony Scott has the scoop on which athletes are moving up to the college ranks. The Warriors sent five athletes on to the next level in their sports, ranging from the Division I to the Division III levels. First, Courtney Russell, an outside hitter on the volleyball team, is excited about the increase in competition as she'll be heading to Kansas Wesleyan. I'm very excited to play because it's going to be a whole other level and everybody there is going to want to be there and play and to compete, so I'm excited. Patrick Jervinak of the football team will play against elite Division III competition as he plans to attend the University of Wisconsin Stout. I really just like the coaching staff when I went there. It was a great experience for me. Uh, nothing really too major, just a favorite college, like the campus and everything. On the pitch, Brainerd goalkeeper Molly Rudolph is off to St. Catharines, an all-girls school, to continue her soccer career. I think it's just very like welcoming and like the thankful that I get to do this and like very excited and I'm very honored that I got to continue my career at a college. On the men's side, Noah Ebinger will stay in Minnesota to continue his career at the University of Minnesota Morris. Very nervous, but hopefully with off-season training with the girls coach Grant Kaminder and other coaches, uh, hopefully I should be able to take that next step and be successful there too. So. The lone Division I athlete from the Warriors was Cheyenne Abair. She will be headed to New York to play hockey at Union College. Abair could not be reached for comment as she had to leave for hockey practice immediately after signing her letter. But the Warriors celebrated all their athletes and look forward to another signing day in the spring. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. So quite a day in Brainerd as a grand total of five athletes will move on to play in college. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.